Good afternoon and welcome. You're watching CNN News 18, and we are taking you through the top headlines of today. First up, we're going down south. Politics has erupted over DMK MP giving communal colour to a Bhumi Puja for a road project in Tamil Nadu. DMK Sendil Kumar has said representatives of all religions should be invited to offer prayers for any such events. Sendil Kumar asked why there was no church priest or imam present at the government event. Now we're joined by Purnima Murli with more on this. Purnima, he stopped the puja from occurring at the premises because it was being done by a sole Hindu priest. He said, call uh, people from other religions as well. But this has always been the stand of the DMK. They've, uh, they're actually uh, atheists. So they don't believe in rituals of any sort, but he's saying either have uh, all religions or no rituals at all. All right, so Purnima has not joined us, but as I was telling you, we are waiting to connect with her. That's been the DMK stand always through the years. In fact, they came to power uh, slamming religion and being against religion and they are, uh, but also pointed out by the opposition, including BJP, they say DMK at their own functions have pujas and that is also true. But this DMK MP here has stopped a Bhumi Puja uh, of an event and he said that uh, you need to have people from all religions and there has been um, a, a, a controversy that has erupted over this. And uh, Karthi Chidambaram has also tweeted that, uh, you know, that DMK wants people to vote for them because they negate all rituals. Getting some perspective in here from Purnima. Uh, good afternoon, Purnima. But this is par for the course for DMK, as I was saying. They continue to stick to their stand, but now being slammed by BJP saying you're giving communal cover, color to it. Absolutely. Now this uh, has once again become a political standoff between uh, the BJP and the DMK. Uh, when the DMK MP, as seen in the video, uh, says that why have only one uh, one religion uh, for uh, conducting this and this is not something that the government believes in and wants other religion also, uh, other religious uh, 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 people also to be there to conduct the event and not just have the Bhumi Puja. And this became uh, a, controver a controversy as this video went viral, was picked up by uh, the BJP. The BJP says that if it had been any other religion, will the DMK MP uh, ask in a similar way uh, and uh, and says that the DMK is known uh, to make such statements only to get some political mileage. So a uh, standoff between the BJP and the DMK mm -hmm. over this uh, video that has gone viral has intensified yet again in the state, Shilpa. All right. Uh, Puna, we're also joined by Narayan Trimurti from the BJP. Very good afternoon to you, sir. So we know that uh, DMK is uh, not pro any religion and they don't believe in these rituals. So why are you surprised by this move of uh, DMK? All right, uh, we will try to reconnect uh, with them. But uh, Purnima, uh, you know, DMK uh, over the years has always said this, that they don't believe in rituals. But I also want to... Uh, take to you the point that when it comes to their own events, they very definitely have rituals and those are all Hindu rituals. I don't remember people uh, from uh, be, be the Christian community or the Muslim community conducting these events. Well, the DMK MP was invited uh, to, to the Dharmapuri uh, event and he said when he saw a, a Hindu priest at the event, his immediate question was where is the church priest and the imam? And uh, why not have all uh, religious I'm just, I'm just, uh, Purnima, just uh, you know, stay with us. Now we have been joined again by Mr. Narayan Tirupati from the BJP. Good afternoon to you, sir. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, you know, the DMK is always stuck to this stand. They've been anti-ritualistic. So why is this a surprising move for you coming from the BJP? Oh, no, first of all, I mean, the uh, DMK responsible. from the DMK. Yeah, this irresponsible behavior from the uh, so-called member of parliament, we strongly condemn this because he was trying to insult the uh, faiths of the Hindus. And he was trying to hmm. create a panic among the people who were surrounded because the work was, the, the puja was being done by the workers for thinking that the work should go hmm. well. The same day, the same MP, the same day in a different place, he has attended one puja in the morning. 
that has come out in all uh, dailies today mm. in fact i have tweeted that also mm. same day he has attended one program the same bhumi puja in a different place suddenly after one or two hours or three hours he has gone to a different place and he started shouting there is asking where is the imam where is the father and the, where is the dravidar uh, kalagam that is uh, the atheist mm. you bring all of them then you do all these rituals mm. see these rituals are our uh, mm. uh, practice of our land he has to understand this so these people don't know what is the culture these people don't know what is the tradition and they are trying to insult the hindus we strongly condemn this and the, uh, we want to know what is the reason for this uh, member of parliament to attend a puja on the same day in a different place and condemn this puja on a different place it is really surprising i think uh, there is something fishy ha ah, that's the question you asking that he went to the same bhumi puja in another event but hmm. at the next yeah. one he has demanded that there should be um, yes. a christian priest and a muslim imam as yes. well they're saying there's hypocrisy there's not yeah. consistency and in the same vein sir i also want to ask you dmk over the years despite them preaching atheism and saying be non ritualistic when it comes to their own events be it the own family also mm. or be it their own public events yes. it's always been only yes. hindu rituals that were uh, you know conducted in their uh, events also yes. they've not had any christian priests or muslim imams as far as i remember now yes that, that's what that's what they have been doing and uh, we call them as a pseudo secular and they are anti hindus amk is definitely anti hindu party they have uh, this uh, sendil kumar has exposed amk that it is a anti hindu party i think mr stalin the chief minister had to take immediate action on him and uh, i think this this person has to apologize mm. in front of the public for insulting the faith of hindus okay all right so we we'll leave it at that and we'll go back to purma thank you very much for joining us with your uh, very valuable inputs purma as um, mr narayan tirupati from the bjp they're saying stalin must condemn this selective targeting of hindus that's what the bjp feels that you're not going and stopping rituals of other religions but uh, you you're just coming and you're uh, hurting the sentiments of hindu uh, presumably for vote bank politics and to further your stand that your anti rituals were only coming across as anti hindu at this point well the bjp now questions uh, the gmk mp sandal kumar and says that had it been another religious uh, priest who uh, was in fact uh, the the chief of uh, was in fact there uh, would he then ask Uh, questions about why other religious uh, representatives are not at the event, uh, and they feel and they uh, in fact claim that it's uh, the DMK is only targeting uh, the Hindus and not any other religions, and this is their stance. Uh, DMK, however, says that they uh, don't want to promote one particular religion. The the MP in the video says that uh, all uh, religious representatives should be given equal status, and that's why um, he says that he will uh, not attend this unless. Uh, they have representatives from both the christian and the muslim community as well but clearly this has now been doing the rounds uh, though uh, the bjp uh, says that this is something uh, that that's not new but it's just surprising that the same mp uh, had attended an earlier event did not raise objections but uh, at the next event uh, they raised objections however the dmk so far has not responded to this in fact uh, they are uh, they have uh, remained silent on this issue so far it's the bjp that's now are uh, raking up the issue however no official statement from the dmk the spokes people have so far uh, not responded on this particular issue it's only uh, the video that has gone viral of the mp uh, uh, saying that uh, why mm-hmm. promote only uh, the hindu religion so at the moment bjp is raking up the issue while no official statement or word from the dmk just yet